I can call to look at this unit. There's a pound it's got a duff a faulty compressor on there, which is a Bristol H2B G104 DBEE three phase. Would have been on R22 where it's got 417 in there. Um, it's been diagnosed by another company. We'll have a look. Let's see what we've got here. 1.6 on there. Point six on there. Point five, right? All sort of adds up, but it could still have another fault on there. So really wants a mega, but we'll give it a quick look with this and see. And two hands plus. Short as you for a little bit. That's their fault. Let's have a look at the oil level. It's got no gas in it apparently. Um, I can't really see in there whether it's full or empty. Well, what I have spotted is all that side of the condenser looks oily, so it's fair to say we've got quite a major leak on there somewhere. So maybe it's lost its gas, been on and off on the LP switch and burnt the motor out. Ow! We've got a nice wooden beam there. And all the pipe work here. Uh, up in the air. Uh, let's try a mega in it. Checking the earth, right. 1.01. Head short. It's going to be the same on all the windings anyway. It's um, all only one ohm, 1.6 ohms. So yeah, that's how it. Right, oh, well. ow! It's been in the way. We might put a little bit of nitrogen in there and see if we can see where that's coming out. It's something easy. We might raise it up, but um. It might be cheaper to put a whole new unit on there.
suction. How can that be right? I look down here. It's got a um, inch and eight, seven eighths reducer. The brazing doesn't look too good on there. And the reason it doesn't look too good is because it isn't brazing. It's a bloody plumbing solder. Um, when you look at all these joints here, I've done them all with solder. It looks like this was put in by the same people who did that other one with all the plumbing solder, really. 